Hello and welcome to another video in Golang tutorial for beginners. My name is Gunesh Shanbhag. In today's video, we'll be looking at functions in Golang. So before starting, first we'll look at what is a function. So a function is a block of code that performs a specific task. And a function will take an input, perform some calculation, and then it will generate an output. Let me go ahead and create a function and show you how to do it. So in here, we have a function that is a function main. So we, what we'll do, we'll create one more function. So if you want to calculate an amount of uh, sales, what we can do, we can create a function for that. In function name, we have to give, so we'll give function amount. And inside this, we have to give the parameters. So the two parameters I want to give is price and the data type of this fun, uh, parameter would be integer. So we'll give int. Then, then the next parameter would be quantity so qty and then int and after this we have to give the return type of this function so the return type of this function would be integer so we'll give int and open and close curly braces so inside here we have to write the function body before that we'll go ahead in the function main from here the call will go to the fun calculate amount function so in here i will create two variables one is price and another would be quantity so we'll say price col uh, comma quantity colon equal to we have to give the values so we'll give 20 comma 5 and then what we'll do we'll create one more variable total amount we will initialize it so it will be colon equal to and we can just call the function so this is the function call and inside this uh, function call that is calculate amount we have to give the parameter so we have two parameters price comma quantity so we are passing these two variables price and quantity to the calculate amount function and once they are passed to the calculate amount function the control will go to the calculate amount function and in here we are accepting this price and quantity and what we'll do is so we'll just create a new variable where total amount to calculate the amount and we'll just multiply both of these and after that we'll just return the value of total amount so keep in mind that um, the return type is integer that that is what i have given here and once it is returned the control will go back to the main function and in here we will just print out the value of the total amount so we will say total amount colon then percent d because it is an integer value then we will say total So if you go ahead and run this, it will say total amount is 100 and we have to make this as printf and now if you go ahead and run this, it will print total amount as 100. One more thing here is, if you go on top. In the parameters list in the calculate amount function we have given two separate parameters like price integer comma quantity integer when the parameter type is same what you can do here is just we'll just remove this integer and we can say price comma quantity integer so this is valid since both the parameters or all the parameters passed in the param uh, function are of same data type so if you go ahead and run this, it will just output the same value. And what if you want to return more than one value? So for that, I will show you one more example. So let me comment this out. And we'll just say it's an example one. Let me pull it down. And in here, 
with the state func name and we'll create one more function here so for example if you want to cal uh, calculate the area of equilateral triangle along with the parameter so for that what we can do we can create a function say equi triangle and inside this function we'll have two values for calculating the area of a uh, equilateral triangle you will need two things one is the base and another one is the height of the triangle so we'll take base this is the parameter one and we have to write the data type of this so it will be float 64 comma the height that will be also a float 64 value and in here we'll just calculate the area and the parameter so before that we'll just go in the function main and we'll just declare the two values or initialize the two values base and height colon equal to let's say 10.5 comma 4.6 and in here we'll just create two values two variables area and the parameter colon equal to we'll call the equilateral function equi triangle function and inside here we'll just give or we'll just pass the base and height as the two parameters and now in the function equi triangle what we can do is we'll calculate the area and the parameter so where area equals to the formula is half into base into height so we'll just write 0 0.5 into base into height and the parameter we can write it as three times the base would be the parameter of the equilateral triangle and now we'll return both of this value And while returning, what we have to do is we have to get return type in the function declaration or function definition. So this will be the first line. So whenever we have to give more than one return values or multiple values, we have to give it as uh, into parameters. So we'll write uh, float 64 for both of the return values. And we'll just go ahead and print them in the main function. In here, we'll say area is percent f slash n, parameter is percent f slash n, and we'll just print area comma perimeter so if you go ahead and run this let me clear the console it will say area is 24.15 and perimeter is 31.5 so that is correct as you can see and here also we have we can do we'll remove the float 64 from base because the both of the values have same data type and this is valid and one more thing here is you can just use name return values so in the name return values what will happen is we don't need to give these values here as return area and perimeter we can just remove them and we can just pass only the return we can just put return keyword but in order to make this work what we have to do is we have to name them in the first line of the function so where the return value is are given we have to do area float 64 and the perimeter and now this is valid and you can see that it is saying area redeclare in this block so what we can do is we can just remove the where keyword 
from both of the values and now this is valid and one more thing is you can just remove the float 64 from the first area variable and now if you go ahead and run this it works the same way so this is for named return types okay and I have shown you in the earlier videos we had used blank identifier that is underscore to discard any values so if you are getting two values here such as uh, area and a parameter we can discard the parameter and only we can print the area so we can do that only thing is that we have to give underscore here and if you go ahead and run this you can see it is only printing area is 24.15 so that's all guys for this video and i will see you in the next video